there's different kinds of bottom boards. This is uh, the basic uh, um, board used for. You'll see some of the different uh, colonies that people bought. Some of them have a landing, some of them have a larger port. So this alone is a, is a deep is a deep box. This could be a high body, or it could be a super. So what makes this B box, this deep Langstroth box, a hive, is a bottom board. So when we speak of a hive, there's the bee house right there. So this box is the same size box. It's a deep Langstroth box. And if we put that on top of the high body, we call that a super. So if this super there, now it's the high body. So we don't get confused. A little simple there, but that's, so now we know what we're talking about. Supers or high bodies, whatever, they can come in different sizes. This is a deep. So the deep frames are nice because if you have, uh, if you have the queen, if you're not going to use a queen excluder, which I recommend you don't, and you have the queen go up in your upper boxes, so it's easy enough to take this size frame and swap it with a frame down below because they're the same size. So there's lots, there's, I think there's four different size of boxes and a lot of people think that you have to have heats in your brood chamber, in your high body, in your bottom boxes, at least the top, the bottom two or three, and then you have to have shallows or mediums up above. You don't have to do that. Uh, I believe that the different size boxes and different size frames make more of a management problem than they solve. So I absolutely hate different size frames and different size boxes. We only make these. There's nothing wrong with using those. The main reason that people use those is because is the weight issue. So one of these boxes clear full of honey and bees can be 80, 90 pounds. I've, I've lifted some that have got to be close to 100. So if, if it's a weight issue, then you may want to go with the medium. Yeah, okay, so here's, inside the frames, uh, there's different kinds of foundation. Um, this is plastic. Permadent is the brand of this one. There's a couple of different uh, manufacturers of it that are called different names, but they're essentially the same thing. And they fit, I put these little support staples on the side. I slip it into the groove in the top bar, and then it snaps right in. So, it should sit nice and flat in there. The plastic foundation has the hexagon embossed on it. The bees build out the cell walls from there out of beeswax. So this is sprayed with the light coating of beeswax to time them to get them started. So, all right, lids. So the bottom board is just uh, just referred to as a bottom board. These can be referred to as a high body or uh, a Langstrip or a deep. Some people just call them deeps or a deep box. The lids, sometimes you hear a lids referred to as lids, tops, covers. The lids I build has a little groove on here so that that goes down and uh, it's made so when the bees give off moisture and it collects on the underside of the lid that moisture the as the can. heat comes off of the, the bees it will vent out out of here so with this type of lid you don't have to have an inner cover inner covers aren't a bad idea it's a nice piece of equipment if you have lots of bees it's just one more thing that you can do without if you've only got a couple of bees you may think about getting an inner cover uh, since it's a thin piece of wood and it has a little hole, small hole in it, um, and you put it in between your top box and your lid, and so the moisture can go up inside the inner cover, so moisture will collect, uh, still collect on the bottom of the lid, but you have a barrier in between your bees and the moisture. And so it helps them, you only need that in the wintertime. Some people leave them on all summer, you don't need to. Have those to buy? We don't make any covers because this lid will do basically oh. the same thing. So we try only to, to provide you with the, the essentials that you need uh, instead 
instead of uh, try and sell you another product. The bee catalogs are full of all kinds of gadgets you can use, so we, uh, we try to keep it simple and uh, the least expensive we can for you, and we don't recommend anything that you don't absolutely have to have to be successful. So when you paint, when you paint these, paint the outside of the hive, especially on the end grains of the wood. We'll let the bees paint the inside. <coughs> bees like to stick propolis and wax and all the little irregularities in the wood and around the frame ears, and that's good for them. So the the uh, the uh, bees' immune system is propolis. It's antimicrobial, and uh, they stick that around there to to uh, help them be healthy. So we'll let the bees paint the inside of the I like to drill a hole in my boxes. You'll see on, in a lot of these nuke boxes, they have a hole just below the handhold. So they have the bottom entrance, the landing at the porch, and then they have, uh, they have the entrance up the lid, and then they have an, another entrance there uh, right below the handhold. So, uh, and they'll use, they, they like that round hole, You'll see bees buzzing around a piece of wood like on here. If you, there's a, a knot hole that looks like might be an entrance into a lot. They're buzzing around there trying to see if that's an entrance. They like that. That's what they're using. So we kind of uh, take a cue from the bees and let them use the entrance they want. That's what they like. They like an upper entrance. If you if you were to uh, study bees in the in the wild feral colonies, they like to have an entrance above the brood chamber. And so that's why that's that's good there. Now, if you were going to put a pollen trap on, that's a whole other thing. I'm not really going to get into right now. Did you get a pollen trap? Yeah. So if you're going to use a pollen trap, you've got to force them in a particular entrance. So if you had an entrance in the lid or in the front, you'd have to close it up, put a cork in it or something, or tape over it or something like that, and make them go in the way you want.